What's up everyone, this is Mike from My Guess One and I hope you are having an amazing day. I'm just here in this video because I wanted to give you guys an update about what's going on and what's what you can expect from the channel in coming days. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna talk about the HDMI 2.0, which is now being replaced as HDMI 2.1 and we're not gonna have the HDMI 2.0 written on the HDMI ports on the TVs and on the monitors ever again. Because if you go to the HDMI.org website, they don't have any signs of the HDMI 2.0 anymore. The only thing that you will find is HDMI 1.4 and then jumps to the HDMI 2.1. So the HDMI 2.0 doesn't even exist in the world of the HDMI.org because now they have made it the subset of the HDMI 2.1. So as you know, the chart that I shared with you guys, so the link will be in the description. That is really good representation of the graphs and everything. What does what? So make sure to go and check that out as well. But I'm gonna give you the uh, overview of what's happening. So you're gonna go in the market and buy the TV. It will say the HDMI 2.1 or a monitor, which will say HDMI 2.1. But when you go home and you connect to the Xbox Series X or the PC, it's gonna give you limited resolution to 4K, 60 hertz or maybe 1080p up to 240 hertz but it's not going to do the hdmi 2.1 specifications that earlier we were aware of could do the vrr auto low latency quick frame uh, rate uh, the quick frame uh, transport and then we had the e arc which is the enhanced audio return channel so these are the features that were part of the hdmi 2.1 specifications but not anymore these options have become options so yeah, options have become optional. So HDMI 2.1 features that we had before, now they are optional. So you're gonna go buy a TV, make sure that it can do the HDMI 2.1 specification that you actually looking for. So if you have Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, or a gaming PC, which has the RTX 3080, if you are lucky enough, you get one, make sure that your TV has 4K 120 Hertz written on the HDMI port because that's how it is written. And I've shared that in my other video with the graphs and charts that how HDMI port will specify 4K 120 Hertz. And then that's not it. You have to also look into whether the features are available or not. Like in case of Sony, we still don't have the VRR on a lot of TVs. Like in, for example, my Sony A90J 83 inch that I got, it does not have the VRR feature. So some features are promised. They're gonna be coming maybe right before the judgment day. Not sure when, but they're really lazy on the update. So LG in case we have everything available out of the box. So you have the auto low latency, VRR, you have quick frame transport, and you have the ER. So now you have to manually do your due diligence and look for these features, whether they are available or not, and then buy the product. I think you should just ignore totally the HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 2.1 now. Just look for the features that you need. So I think they are putting customers to do more exercise. And I think it's because maybe, I don't know, maybe at home we are not working out. So they want us to work out and work out through our brains and just look into more. I don't know, HDMI.org has totally messed it up the way it was messed up already. And now it's messed up more. But that's about the HDMI 2.1. I think I've said enough. Now let's just talk about what's coming to you guys on the videos. Um, I have the A90J, which I have videos scheduled for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. So four days straight is just gonna be the, H uh, not HDMI, HDMI, screw HDMI 2.1. Not about HDMI. It's gonna be about the Sony A90J 83 inch that I have. So I have some content. It took so much time to prepare all of that and I have it ready. I just have to do some edits and voiceover and it's gonna be out for straight four days from tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching the video guys. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel because that's gonna help me a lot. And once again, thank you so much for the 21,000 subscribers we completed just yesterday. So that's all, I'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out.